One of the common electrophilic substitution reactions we study is that of nitration. And the reagent used for nitration is usually this HNO3 or nitric acid in presence of H2SO4 or sulfuric acid, which gives us an electrophile which is an NO2 with a positive charge. And this electrophile is going to be substituted on our reactant, which is aniline. But where will the substitution happen? And what will be the final product? And how does this happen? In this video, we're going to discuss all of that. But first, let's look at aniline a little bit closely. So we know something about this nitrogen. It has a lone pair of electrons. And what it's going to do is it's going to share these with the ring because of which it is going to activate the ring. And there are also double bonds. So there's going to be resonance. So let's just quickly draw the resonance structures and see where the electron density increases. So here, once the lone pair shares its electrons, we'll have a double bond here. And this pi bond will shift to the ortho position, which is why we have a negative charge here. Then next we will have this pi bond shifting here. So there will be a negative charge here. And similarly, we have this pi bond because of which we have a negative charge here. So if you follow the negative charge, you'll notice that the electron density is higher at the ortho and the para positions, which means that this NH2 because of this lone pair is activating the ring and NH2 is a ortho para directing group. So now based on this information itself, we know that when we have an electrophile in the reaction, something like this E plus, it will probably attach at the ortho and the para positions. So let's see how the reaction happens. So here we have our nitrating mixture, which will give us a NO2 electrophile. And from before we know that the NH2 group will activate the ring and the electron density is higher at the ortho and the para positions. So we'll know that the products that form will have a NO2 at these positions. So first we have NO2 attaching to the para position. And then we also have this NO2 getting attached at the ortho position. But if we check how much of the product is formed, we find that the para product was around 51%. And therefore, this is the major product. But the ortho product is only 2% because we know that the NO2 is a large group and there will be repulsion when NO2 approaches the ortho position. But still, this is a really small number. And also there's the question that what is the remaining 47%? And looking for this is when we realize that there is one more product, which is we have this NO2 getting added at the meta position as well. And surprisingly, this gives us a very high yield, which is the remaining 47%. So this was not expected. We thought we will only find the ortho and the para product. And the electron density was not high at the meta position. So then how did the NO2 get attached here? So to understand this, let's look a little bit closely at the reaction conditions. Maybe one of our assumptions was wrong. So if you look at the reagent, we can see that the reaction is actually happening in acidic medium. So there will be some H plus which is generated. And this aniline has a basic character. So maybe something is happening here that is not making this NH2 ortho para directing. Let's see what's happening. We saw before how there is H plus from the acidic medium. And now in the solution, this H plus will react with this lone pair on the nitrogen of the aniline and form this anilinium ion. And so the formation of this ion is deciding which products are formed. So to understand that, let's go back to one of our initial steps where we had drawn the resonance structures. So we had started with this aniline and we said that there is this lone pair here which is going to activate this ring and because of which we had these resonance structures. So we saw that the electron density was higher at the ortho and the para positions because of which we were expecting ortho and para products. But now, as we saw, because of the H+, this anilinium ion is formed. So now, like this case, there is no negative charge here, which is moving across the ring. Or in other words, there is no increased electron density at the ortho and the para positions, which partly explains why we did not get the products as expected. Because we started with this condition, where we thought that the lone pair will be in resonance, but now there's no lone pair. So then the question is, what is determining the products here? And for that, we need to closely look at this nitrogen. So we know that this nitrogen has a positive charge. So it will want to pull electrons from this ring. So it is now deactivating the ring. But what is happening because of this pull of electrons? So if we think of this structure where there is this group X, which is pulling electrons. So if it is pulling electrons from here, now I have not drawn the hydrogens here. So you can think that there are hydrogens here. But for now, we are going to ignore them. And what I want to focus on is if we have this X, which is a group that is pulling away electrons. So it will first try to pull out the electrons from the carbon that it is attached to, which is the closest to it, which is this carbon, 
numbered 1. Now, if it was a very strong electron withdrawing group, it will also try to pull from this carbon. But the point is, this second carbon is further away from this first carbon. So the effect of the pull will be lesser here. And this effect, this electron withdrawing effect decreases with distance. So the further we go from the electron withdrawing group, the lesser is the electron pulling effect. So now if we imagine this same chain here, you can see that this nitrogen will pull electrons most from this position, then the second carbon, this third and this fourth. And because of this, we know something. If we look at the electron density, the electron density will be least at this position because this nitrogen is closer and it's pulling away electrons. And the electron density will increase as we go from 1 to 4. So if you look at these three positions, that is 2, 3 or 4, or in other words, if we look at ortho, meta and para positions, electron density will be highest at the para position, then at the meta position and then at the ortho position. And we know that in our reaction, the electrophile, which is in the form of an E+, plus, will get attached to the ring at places where the electron density is higher. And we saw how the electron density was higher at the para position, which is why we get a para major product. Then next, it is at the meta position, which is why we get a significant meta product. And it is least at the ortho position because of two things. First, at this position, the electron density is very low because this nitrogen is pulling away electrons. And also, we can see that as this NO2 group approaches this position, there will be hindrance here at the ortho position. So because of both of these reasons, the amount of ortho product formed is very less, which was around the 2% that we saw. So the formation of this anilinium ion and its electron pulling effect explains why we got a major para product and a significant meta product and very little ortho product. But what if we don't want the meta product? So the formation of this ion happened because of the H plus reacting with this lone pair. What if somehow we can block this lone pair and engage it elsewhere so that it does not form this ion and by that can we prevent the formation of a meta product? Let's see if we can do that. So as we discussed before, what we want to do is we want to block this NH2 off so that it does not destabilize the ring and we then let the nitration happen. So I've just written it down in a different way but this is basically NH2 and what we're going to do is we're going to react it with acetic anhydride which looks something like this. Another way of writing it down is in this form but this is what it looks like. So when we initiate the reaction, what happens is this acetic anhydride will break at this point and we will have this group attach itself at this nitrogen. So we can write it as this C double bond O and this CH3. So now a couple of things have happened at this stage. First, you can see that there is this double bond O here, which means now this lone pair is going to be involved in resonance at this point. And the other thing to note is that because this is a huge group, we have effectively blocked off the ortho position. And in a sense, what we have done by blocking this group is we have made this lone pair on the nitrogen less reactive. So now what we can do is we can initiate the nitration at this step. And let's say we have this electrophile coming out from our nitration mixture of HNO3 and H2SO4, this NO2 will now get attached at the para position. And again, because this is a huge group, it will be very difficult for the NO2 to get attached at the ortho position. So now what's left is to convert this back into the NH2. And for that, what we do is, we can simply react it with H plus or OH minus. In either case, what will happen is this particular part will go out because of which we will get back the original NH2 here. And there we have our para product, which in this case will also be the major product. And we got this by blocking this NH2. So again, why this works is by adding this group here, we are forcing the lone pair to go in resonance with this oxygen here. And because the lone pair is engaged now with this oxygen, it activates this ring to a far lesser extent than the NH2. And the other thing is, we saw how NH2 was ortho para directing when we looked at the resonance structures. So although the lone pair is getting shared with this oxygen, this group on the whole is also ortho para directing because it's not like the lone pair is not going to be shared with the ring. It's just being shared much lesser because of which the ortho para para directing effect is lesser in this case. So the point here is, it's not like we're going to not get an ortho product when we did the nitration here. It's going to be very minor because of the hindrance because of this group. And there is no hindrance at the para position, which is why we got this product as a major product.